I've had some good days. I've had some heat. We do not own the rights to the music. Please share today's broadcast. Please share. I've had some. Welcome back. Oh, hallelujah. And some lonely nights. But when I, when I look around, and I think things over, you know what? All of my good days outweigh my bad days. I, I won't complain. Can I say that one more time? I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days. Some sleepless nights, but when I when I look around, yeah, I think things over. All of my good days outweigh my bad days I, I won't complain sometimes the clouds hang low I can hardly see the road I ask the Question, Lord, Lord, why so much pain? But He knows what's best for me. Although my weary eyes they can't see. So I'll just say, thank you, Lord. I, I won't complain. God has been so good to me. Has it been good? He good to me more than this whole world are you could ever be he's been so good to me you know what he did yeah, yeah, yeah. he dried all of my tears away Turn my midnight in today So I'll just say thank you Lord I've been lied on, but thank you Lord I've been talked about, but thank you Lord I've been misunderstood, but thank you Lord you might be sick, body rocking with pain, but thank you, Lord. The bills are due. Don't know where the money coming from, but thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I won't. Yeah. I won't complain. God. 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 
so good to me. He's been good to me. More than this so well. Are you could ever be? He's been so good. He's been so good. He's been so good. 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 Tell me, 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 me. Yes. And dries all of my tears away. He ever stop you from crying? Turn my midnight in today So I Just say thank you Lord. I've been lied on But thank you Lord. I've been talked about But thank you Lord. I've been misunderstood but thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Can you tell him thank you, Lord? Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He dries. He dries. It dries, 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 it dries. Every one of my tears away. My midnight in today. So instead of complaining, I learned how to lift them hands, look up toward heaven, and say, thank you all. Tell him, thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. Praise the Lord on today and say thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. I won't complain. I won't complain. I know it's time to go home, but I won't complain. I used to, but I won't. I could, but I won't. 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 Can you say it?
Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, we serve an awesome God. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Oh, hallelujah. Y'all, you know, everybody should know that Pastor Davidson and I, and even Janetta, when we get up here, we're going to praise the Lord God, because there's nobody, you hear me, nobody like the Lord God, nobody, and we're nobody. not going to be complaining, we're not going to be grumbling, we're going to praise the Lord God, because he is God, and he is mighty, oh, hey. hallelujah. Thank you, God. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> yes, Lord. Thank you, God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank God. You, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. Yes, yes. Thank you, God. Oh, hallelujah. Let me settle down, but Pastor Davidson can come on and do this welcome. <laughs> yes, Lord. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. We want to welcome you to another Glorious day of ministry engagement broadcast. Amen. Brought to you by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Our station manager is God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You got that right. <laughs> he he had he gives, he gives us what we're supposed to do. Amen. In the order he wants us to be done. And we welcome you to join us in praising God, giving God glory, giving God honor, and giving God all the praise because he alone yes. is worthy yes he Amen. is no hallelujah matter what life, no matter what's going on in yes. your life or in the world yes. god is still worthy to be yes. praised yes, so come is. on in and settle while come on in and rejoice with us come on in and feast from the table of the lord Amen. because the feast of the lord is going on get Amen. your bucket get your barrel get your plate your spoon your biscuit your glass, your saucer, whatever you need mm, to you store up this word of God that's going to come forth today. Get it yeah. ready. Also, put that neck around your, put that uh, napkin around your neck so you won't drip nothing on your clothes because it's, it's yeah. going to be juicy and it's going to be good. It might not yeah. taste good all the time, but it's good for our, for our soul. Amen. Amen. So amen. Let God have his way. <laughs> yes, today. Lord God. Amen. 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 I'll be the scripture at this time. Uh, 2 Thessalonians uh, chapter 3, verses 6 through 12. And it reads, Now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you would draw yourselves from every brother that walketh disorderly and not after the tradition which you received of us. For yourselves know how ye are to follow us, for we behave not ourselves disorderly among you. Neither did we eat any man's bread for naught, but wrought with labor and travail night and day, that we might not be chargeable to any of you. Not because we have not power, but to make ourselves an example unto you to follow us. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly, working not at all, but are busybodies. Now them that are such, we command and exhort by our Lord Jesus Christ, that with quietness they work and eat their own bread. May the Lord our blessings in reading and hearing and doing of his most holy word. Amen. Father God, we just come before you this afternoon, this evening, just thanking you, Lord God, for being our Father who art in heaven, holy is your name. Father God, we repent of all our sins, all our thoughts, all, all our transgressions, anything that we did that was out of your will. We ask for, for your forgiveness and we turn from it, oh God. We repent of it, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We fall out of disagreement with it, oh God. Never to let it be found in any of us again, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Holy Ghost, come on in and have your way. Your will be done this day in the name of Jesus. Oh God, let, let the ears of the listen be unstopped. Take out any spiritual earwax. Oh God, take the scales off their eyes so they can hear and see you in your glory on today. So they can hear your, your uncompromising, unadulterated gospel on today, oh God. From your hand may sir, apostle, prophetess, body, false, oh God. Use her as you will, Lord God. Not the flesh be glorified. We came to glorify you and lift it up. You lift up. Father God, you said in your word, if you be lifted up from the earth, that you will draw all men unto you. 
So he came to lift you up. He came to give your word out on today, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we come against every foul spirit, every demonic force, every principality, every ruler of darkness, every witchcraft worker, every necromancer, every non well wish we serve you. Notice even now in the name of Jesus, no backlash shall come forth as the word of God goes forth in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost reigns supreme on today. We put flesh behind the cross and ask you to step forward and we step back in submission unto your will and your way, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, get your glory today. Yes. For those who are sick and shut in, the dying and the suffering, bereaved families everywhere, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We pray for our governments. We pray, pray for our police. We pray for the fivefold ministry, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, move, move like you never have before. This day, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are so careful, careful to give your name the praise and all the glory and all the honor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Thank our Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Yes, God. Amen. And before Prophet's body comes, we're going to have another song. And after the song is played, the next voice you hear will be Prophet's body. Amen. Holiness, holiness is what I long for. Holiness is what I need. Holiness, holiness is what you want. On the right to the music.
Thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise you, God. There is no one like you, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Not one, not one, not one, not one, not one, not one, not one. Jesus, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we pray, Lord God, for Reverend Robert Sakawa. Yes, he was Lord. supposed to teach today and what we haven't heard from him since yesterday and that's not like him God and so Lord God we know that something must be going on yes God. and so Lord God I pray in the name of Jesus Lord, Lord if it's a storm or if it's internet connections Lord God Lord there have been several deaths God to where he has had to go and preach a word Lord God and so Lord God whatever has happened since him and I last spoke Lord God on, on I think it was early Sunday morning God Sunday afternoon God Mm, that's y'all gotta decide. Yeah. I pray God in the name of Jesus. And he was looking forward to teaching God. So something has to have happened. And so, Lord God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you, God, yes, go, God. Lord God, wherever he is, God, yes. and you supply every need, God. You know yes. the situation. Lord God, oh dear Shaman Asaye, God did it see. Who dear Shaman Asaye? Who ye come on a shotgun at the And so, Lord God, here I was. I was like, Lord, what will you have me to do? What yeah. will you have us to do? Lord. And you said you got it. And so, Lord God, mm, gosh, I got to say, I'm going to come and I'm going to start praying, Lord God, because I have one of the nuggets that you did want me to bring forth, God. But I dare not do anything, God, without coming completely into you, God, yes, and having Lord. you, Lord God. Oh, God to see. So, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Lord, God, God, I'm coming to you, God. Lord, I'm saying it's me, oh Lord God, it's me. I'm not looking at anyone else, God, but it's me, God. Forgive me for all sin, God. I have committed in deed, thought, and action. Lord God, I've even been at the dentist this office this morning. And Lord God, what y'all got to see? I thank God for my ability to be able to talk right now, God. When Lord God, I pray, God, that you re re that you remove all swelling, God. That mm, y'all got to see, and all Lord God, what y'all got to see that from the dental work that I had done today on my teeth, Lord God, not several. I mean, one, but they worked on a couple of them, Lord God. So Thank remove God. God as I touch my face, God. Mm, that's Y'all gotta see, touch my gums, touch my teeth. Oh, yes, y'all gotta say, touch me. Oh, yes, y'all gotta say, yeah, and send your God, your healing virtue, God. And Lord, I also pray, God, that as I preach, God, and bring whatever it is that you have me to bring, that Lord God, I won't be the only one, God, but Pastor, your apostle Cynthia Davison, and every person, God that hears and receives God yes, shall be yes. healed, delivered and set free, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I pray, God, that you show me those hidden things, yes, those God. hidden sins inside me, God. I will never forget the word, God, that my jurisdictional bishop, Lord God, pray, God, Leroy Jackson Waller, Lord God, with Greater North Carolina Church of God in Christ. He preached the word, God, about those hidden sins, those yeah. hidden things that is within you, God. And so, Lord, anything that is hidden, that's yeah. vexed, that's yeah. within me, God. I Jesus. pray in the name of Jesus that you pull it to my conscious mind, God. And not just me, but everyone that's watching, God. I surrender, Lord God, unto you, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you stir up the evangelistic anointing. Stir it up, Lord God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, God. And Lord, stir up, Lord God, the prophetic anointing, God, the apostolic anointing. 
Oh, stir it up, Lord God. Then I may be able to be used by you. Father God, for your that saying is that he's been talking he's been giving warning he's been talking to his people and that many are listening oh he says stiff neck he mm -hmm. says rebellious what you gotta say not wanting to surrender and to the lord god but wanting to remain and to stay in flesh wanting to do your will and not the will of god oh yes and yeah. god is saying is that he is not pleased Yes. He says it is time to hear him to for you to pull up self, put away your childish ways, put away. <laughs> Your selfish ways, oh yes, I got it. Oh God, he says, even because I got to see the elderly. 60, 70, even 80 year olds, or she got to see acting as children. God says, Grow up. I gotta oh, see it. Oh, rock on my Then I'm on a side. gotta see. This is not the season. And I hear him stand telling me to stand. And so I'm gonna be obedient. Oh, yes, I gotta see to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Oh, mm -hmm. yes, I gotta see. Because we have to be obedient that when yeah. God tells us to do something, so many times is that we don't because we try to do the things that we want to do and not the things that God is saying. Mm -hmm. And He's saying, What you gotta see? With what is coming, what you gotta see? Not, what you gotta see? To be still. Meaning not praying, not going around doing what it is that you're supposed to be doing. Oh, rock on that shit. You gotta see. He says, yes, that I was coming forth to preach about the playground, the past, the present, and the future. And I'm going to hit and tap on some of those things also right now in the name of Jesus. However, oh, that's someone else I got to see. God is saying, Jesus, help me, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Help me, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. He says, Is there some souls? Uh. He says, Both of the souls. He says, The soul before he came, Paul, and the soul that was walking but backed away into where he allowed. Mm, gosh, I gotta see his flesh, his mm -hmm. spirit to take him out of the will of God. Mm, gosh, I gotta see. Help me, Holy Spirit. Mm, gosh, I gotta see. He says in this season that we're in, he says there is people are gonna see more people dying and dying and getting sick. This is not speaking something, but it's giving you fact. Because of people of disobedience, God hasn't taken what was only meant just for a little while away. Just as the people that were delivered, that Moses delivered out of Egypt, they were only supposed to be a short trip, but uh -huh. a short trip turned into 40 years, 40 years to where everyone and that died except for two people, only two. God is saying, don't allow that to happen again in the name of Jesus. On Friday, 
Dr. Lamont, Reverend Dr. Lamont Foster, he said that Adam and Eve never ever asked God for forgiveness. And maybe if they would have asked for forgiveness, maybe they wouldn't have got kicked out of the Garden of Eden. Uh -huh. Have you asked for forgiveness for the things that you have done, mm. for the things that you said, for the things that God has told you to do, but you've refused to do? He's saying that the time is now to get it right and to walk in his spirit. He's saying that many people, they get delivered. I'm trying to fix this camera. That many people, they get delivered. However, when they get delivered, as um, they don't go through and take the time to go through those psychological and those intellectual changes that you need to go through that what you do is that you get delivered and that you try to go on as you've always done god says you can't do that mm -hmm. he says did not his servant take years to be able to become saul from saul to paul during this time period that it doesn't say anywhere in the bible that what he did during that eight to maybe 10 year period. It does say that he was in Damascus and I think the other one might've been um, Ikea, I'm not sure, that last one. But he did meet with Philip mm -hmm. for 15 days. It mm -hmm. does say that. And then it doesn't say a lot about the other people that he may have met with, but during this time period that which was his present state mm -hmm. that was going to lead into his future state that he spent it communing with God because there's no way somebody can be a persecutor uh, of the Christians and that all of a sudden when you do see them again they're saying come out of her demon and the demon is coming out to where the woman can't make no money anymore right. so he came during that time some people don't know, but it wasn't being idle. That mm -mm. time was not being idle. God has given us a whole year and almost a half to work on developing who we are and who we should come. Oh, yes, I got to see into the Lord God. And as I've already taught part one, and part two of the playground, the past, to where people were reaching back to old relationships and bringing them into their current relationships, knowing that God delivered you from that place and that you shouldn't have been going back there. But in that idle time, your mind was going just, just, just like this, just like this, just like that. It was just going just like that. And you allowed some of those old things in your past that's supposed to stay in your past mm -hmm. creep into your present sense. It may have broken up families, homes, marriages, who knows what else it, it impacted in the present sense. Mm -hmm. However, God saying that idle time can impact your future too. And what and we see clearly in the word of God that P, Paul's time that he we didn't see about what he was doing in the Bible. Clearly, clearly, you hear me? Clearly, by seeing his walk after that, he spent time with the Lord God. To where it impacted his future, to where he was going around evangelizing three missionary trips, three, you hear me? He was going up down the seaways, not the highways, the byways, so, but up and down the roads and across the oceans, across the seas to spread the word of God, putting a place on his future. And the other apostles did also that the book of Acts is the only book, the only book in the word of God that is not completed. And the reason it is not complete because we have our other 
Apostle, such as Apostle Cynthia and my overseer, Apostle De uh, Ellis McKeithen. And we have so many other apostles and prophets and evangelists and missionaries and ministers and those that don't have a title, but they're about the work. For the yeah. longest time, I didn't have a, I didn't need no title. I'm just going to go do the work. You know what I mean? And so that pew warmer, you could call them warming the seat. Right mm -hmm. now, it is not, God is saying, it's not a time to be warm, warming the seat and keeping that seat warm. We should be out evangelizing. Yes, mm -hmm. there's COVID out here. There's Delta. There's going to, something else is going to be coming. However, pick up that telephone here. Pick up the telephone, send a text, call somebody, send a letter. So many people don't write anymore. Um, yeah, the, write a text, write a letter, send an email. To, hey, how are you doing, sister? You came across my mind and even write the prayer out. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. I write out a prayer. And so, yeah, so yeah. I don't do it all the time, though. But a lot of times I write it out. And then sometimes I'll just sit there and God says, pray right now. So I'll pray right now. But right now, the things that we are doing right now, it is preparing us for our future. What does your future look like? Are you using this time, this idle time? What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, Pastor Davidson, Apostle, what are you doing in your idle time? Uh, praying, uh, some watching TV. Uh, <laughs> this goes on and on. Amen. Uh, yeah. Amen. And some of the people that's watching, put down right now. I see Mother Dolores Davis. I see Brenda Sister um, Lewis. I see Evangelist Lonnie. And even uh, our Evangelist, oh, hallelujah, Janetta up here, mighty elder and prophet of God. What are some of the things that you do in that time that you're not doing anything else? Do you ever? Pick up the word and study it. Do you go down on your knees? Do you go prostrate and, um, and land before the Lord God talking to him? Are you going into your secret closets? What are you doing in those times when nobody else is around? Nobody. You see what I'm saying? Nobody. Those things that we do in those time periods, God is telling me to come forth today, audience, I got to see, and let you know that it's, preparing your place for you to be able to go we live in a society where so many people think that because they have a title or because they got putting so many thousands of dollars or whatever in the church that is securing them a place in heaven. I'm here to tell you today no it's not it is not securing a place for you to go. It's not right. your relationship with the Lord God, the way you treat people, mm -hmm. the way you treat people. And Matthew 6, it talks about even unforgiveness. Wow. There's some church people that are still walking around with unforgiveness in your heart and thinking that you're going to make it to the kingdom of heaven when clearly the word of God says that's not so. It also mm -hmm. says that God isn't going to forgive you. Amen. So that's saying right then and there, if you don't forgive God, don't forgive you. So how, how mm. in the world are you going to get to the kingdom of heaven? You cannot, cannot. you have to forgive. And that means treating people like it never, ever happened. Mm, gosh, I got to see that. It means about having joy in your heart, joy. It means not complaining. Just like I could come up here and say, like, because I had dental work today and my face is all like this. No, when God calls you for the work, you answer, you go on. I'm not going to make no excuses. You see what I'm saying? Mm, gosh, I got to see they, these gums. God's going to heal these gums and stuff. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But that's mm -hmm. what he looks at your heart, your dedication. God has been telling some people to speak up. Mm -hmm. He's saying he wants you to have more boldness, but you still don't. You're wow. saying, I don't know what to say. I might hurt their feelings. Mm -hmm. God says, speak what he's telling you to speak. Yeah. 
Yes. Amen. Because when you don't do what God tells you to do, that if mm. something happens to that individual, it can be on you. See, we'll be. I got called out like that in the church myself because I was um go, I was walking around in anointing and uh, like whenever I heard God say something in the church, this is after I had started and, and became a member. I would just walk and go and tell the person whatever God was telling me. But then I heard God told me to go to the academy to go get licensed and stuff. And so when I went, they told me that I can't be walking around. Like I've been telling this person that and that. I looked at my pastor, he turned his head. I love the way he did that. <laughs> because he oh left it up to me of what to do. But I'm like kind of nervous and just like, okay. And so it was one day in church, God was telling me to go tell somebody something. Mm. And I says, Lord God, they told me I couldn't go and do this anymore. So, mm. Lord God, I want to go and do it, but I don't want to get in trouble. And you saying be obedient to leadership. And so do I go? I don't go. I'm going to stay because it, uh, that means I'm being obedient to leadership. God said, again, go. Mm. And I'm so, like, God, I can't. They told me I can't do this anymore. And so God says, I told you to go. And I says, Lord God, I don't want to get in trouble. See, I'm thinking about getting in trouble here on earth with people and not God. I'm being real right now. You see what I'm saying? Um, Because we all grow. We all have thought and did stupid things. Me, me. I've done stupid things. You see him? And so when I said, please give it to somebody else. Mm-hmm. Um, it was Lauren. She's an apostle of God now, also. And so she was singing in a choir. She got this look in her eye, and I was like, and she started walking, came out the um, what do you call it, the balcony mm-hmm. part, and started. And I was just, God, thank you so much for giving it to somebody else. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, God. And so she stayed over there for, with the woman for a moment, telling her what God said. But I think she finished the look. <laughs> the look she had in her eyes jesus the it was god the look of god his eyes i saw his eyes through her she marched over there and she bent down and she said the next time god said the next time he tells you to do something you're mm-hmm. to do it immediately or otherwise that person's soul is gonna be on you I got up immediately and went to the um to the altar and repented. Mm. Mm. Oh God, my God. Mm, hallelujah. Mm, hallelujah. Mm, I grew that day. Mm-hmm. I grew. God blessed me that day when I went up there with boldness, with the spiritual boldness to do what he was telling me to do. Not worrying anymore about man, not worrying anymore about this or that doctrine. No, because God's word and what he says come over all of that. I knew Mm -hmm. that, but I got caught up in doctrine Uh, instead of staying caught up in the Lord God. Yeah. So don't allow doctrine. Mm. Don't allow people to say what they do and don't do. Make mm. you fall. Make you waver. Jesus. Make you do what you don't supposed to be doing. Uh-huh. Keep your mind stayed on Christ. Oh, yes, I got out of the summer. Jesus, sorry, I got out of the game. I got out of Mm, God told me to go forth that he had called me to be a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ not no missionary I got caught up in the missionary, in the missionary. Oh, no. I'm in the church of God in Christ and y'all know that what their doctrine is I go by God's doctrine that's what we have to go by what God is telling us to do what God is telling you to do what God is telling you what he's telling me to do we have to do the will of the Lord God not the will of man not the will of doctrine if any doctrine they call it uh, solitology um Mm -hmm. Estalology, which is the second coming of the Lord. The, that's a 
theological term that they call it, esterological, one of the hard names. <laughs> but it's, it's a preaching of the second coming of God. Christ, yeah. he's coming back. Yes, he and is. I don't know the time or the when. However, it's going to be sooner than it is later. And we mm -hmm. can tell by the things that are going on. God is saying, don't allow your past, your present, what you're doing now to dictate those idols that you got in your life. Meaning your idol can be you. Mm -hmm. You can be thinking that you so untouchable. You mm -hmm. this and all that in the bag of potato chips. No, God is. You hear me? God is the one mm -hmm. that, that has everything. He is all, everything to anybody and everybody. He yeah. is our all in all. Oh, yes, I got to see. So we cannot have any idols, including mm -hmm. ourselves, that car, that man, that girl, that boy, that pride, that arrogance, whatever. Pride and arrogance will get you straight to hell. I've seen it raging up on so many people these days. I know mm -hmm. I was waiting for um, the car to come around to pick me up when I was at the store. And while I was waiting for it to come around, I sat there for a while and I looked at people. I was like, my God, there were so many people disobedient, so many people so arrogant, so many people cursing and fussing people out. Nobody wanting to go by the, 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 the protocols or, you know, I look at it, even if it's a store, that's the mm -hmm. man's store, just like yeah. somebody's house. Uh -huh. and before somebody come in your house, like I, I like people to take off their shoes when they come in, in my house. And so I have like a little shoe thing there. So when you come in, you know, take off your shoes, leave them there and stuff. So I, I'll be telling them, so put on some sock, good socks or something like that, because I want trying to, you know, just keep to protect the floors. However, this is something that I do. You see what I'm mm -hmm. saying? However, for somebody to come in, and sit there and says, oh, I'm not taking off my shoes. I'm not doing this. But you know what? You're not coming up in here. You're not. And so when we go to places these days, like stores, restaurants, or wherever, that's their place. Yes. And if they set a rule in place to where you can't come in here unless you got on a T-shirt, unless mm -hmm. you got on some Ooh. shoes, unless you got on a mask, they're putting these things in place. Who are we to argue or fuss about what somebody else got going on in their house? If you don't like it, go somewhere else. Right. But the thing is, be obedient. And actually, it's for your protection and the protection of others. And see, people don't be looking like that. They be thinking, oh, they're trying to tell me what to do. You know, mm. because if you don't have it on, you may not care about yourself, but care about somebody else. Mm -hmm. And see, that's what I'm saying. We're in a selfish society where mm -hmm. each person that you see that where it says for them to put on a mask and they're going to go in there. I'm not going to do that. I'm not. They're selfish. That's a selfish spirit. That's an arrogant spirit on them. It's an argumentative spirit. And you know what? If you have an argumentative spirit, that's the spirit of pride. Also, they're connected. They are connected. Yeah. And so God just, I'm not going to be before you long. And so I'm going to get ready to end. But God, he basically, he wants people to think about your future. Get rid of those idols that's going on. Start thinking about what happens after this life. Mm. What happens? Because you, we never know when something is going to happen. We never, ever know. It can happen immediately. It can happen slow or what? But do you know? And are you living a life to where you can get to the kingdom of heaven? Mm. At, you know, I wish I had a checklist right now, like when I was doing the assessments. However, there's particular questions you can ask. Number one. Have I been selfish when somebody told me to put on my mask and I didn't? Number two, am I following instructions of my leadership? And if it's contrary to God, am I following what God told me to? Basically, you know, that's, that's like a two and a one there. 
Okay, another question is, when I am I forgiving people? Mm. Number four, when I say I forgive people, have I went back to that same love that mm. I had before I was mad and angry? That's that's the that's the thing. Number five, do I try to help others and encourage other people? Because a lot of people are only concerned about themselves. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Am I praying and spending time with God? Am I being obsessive in something? And that obsessive can be like um, spending money, it can be drinking, it can be partying. Are you obsessive regarding something? Hmm. Number eight, what's the good one, woman of God? Give me an out. Give um. me. Yeah, I got two. Somebody got one here for me, Karen. I hey Karen, why don't you tell woman of God? Hey, Evangelist Lonnie, do one of y'all have a two questions that y'all would like to to where you know a person is doing something wrong? Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, uh, question, woman of God. Are you just sitting idle all day, or are you praying? Are you gardening? What are you doing? Are you okay, just that's good? Oh, I got a good one about that. Yes. Do the characteristics and personification that you portray out in the public hmm. is it the same when you behind closed doors? Y'all know about R. Kelly in the closet <laughs> and all of that. <laughs> Do we have some in the closet people? Uh, Do we have some people that's in the closet? Today I went to Walmart and I was getting my groceries and it was a young man there and his nails was, you see the pen, his nails was about this long and green and they looked it nasty. It, did, it looked really nasty. And I had like my food, I was like, can you use some hand sanitizer? He says, my hands is clean. I says, well, you were touching all of that, that woman's stuff while ago that she returned and you can really touch my food and look at those nails, man. I said, can you use some hand sanitizer? He went, but he went on and put it up in there though. And so while he was putting it in, I say the prayer for him. And that's what we have to do is, is say a prayer because we can see people and we can see those spirits on them. And so we don't have to be mean, ugly or anything, but treat them with love. And so after he finished, I was like, I thank you so much because he didn't have to bring uh -huh. me up though, but it was just a circle around and one eye open. Uh -huh. And so I asked him, can he read my stuff up? And he was like, yeah, sure. But that's when I got up there, I saw the, the claws, yeah. And so that's the other thing is that when we go on, into a work environment we have to have codes and standards so then that way people will be wanting to come back or, or anything we should present ourselves yeah. as pleasing to god yes yeah. that's it that's it to god be all the glory lord god i pray god that i said everything that you would have me to say no more no less lord god lord god or shut out of the sea oh no man yes lord jesus mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you god he said that i should have asked a question how many people that especially the ones that's been watching and have heard the prophetic warnings being given, have went out and started preparing for what God said is coming. Because mm. that's an indication to where you're hearing and receiving, Lord, yes, I got to see what God has said. And so mm. if you haven't, mm, gosh, I got to see, go to God repent, ask God, Lord God, if his finances, my finances is looking like this or whatever, but go to him because yes. he's looking at that. Mm -hmm. He said for him to stop me and have me go there when I'm trying to close out is for reason or purpose. So go to him. So Lord God, I pray God that each person God that has um, watched this and that is watching and will watch God. Yes, so God. we all will look at ourselves, our lives, God, the things that we do, the things that we don't do, God, the things that we need to do, 
Lord God, we thank you, God, for bringing up, Lord God, and showing yes. us the idols in our past how we brought our past into our present and lord god the things that we do now that you are watching and that you're seeing god and you're putting it in the the, the books lord god what it is that we're doing and lord god you we're going to be judged on these things so lord god each and every person god i pray now god that they come to you god and say lord god forgive me god help me to get it right lord god i can't do it without you lord god in the name of jesus christ make me over god put me on the parter's will lord god in the name of jesus Lord God, where there are soul ties, break yes. them, God. Lord God, Lord. where there are strongholds, God, yes. break them. Where walls have came up of the division, Lord God, break yes. every wall, break yes. every chain yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Break every chain, yes. every wall, God. Yes. I pray that people come to you, God, when true repentance, God. Yes. I gotta see asking for forgiveness forgiveness God and Lord whatever that heart thing is that that person's Lord God have God yes. they're unable to forgive God yes. I pray yes. God yes. that you will touch their hearts God yes. and you will heal and deliver them from whatever has them bound yes. God and Lord that you created them a clean heart yes. and you a right spirit within them Lord God, anyone that has an affliction in their body, God, I pray, Lord God, for every person with an affliction. Lord God, I'm going to touch my face and my mouth now, Lord God. Lord God, as I had dental work done today, God, and I pray, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, God, no affections, God. Lord, yes, I got to see, they gave me, I had to take 2,000 milligrams, Lord God, of an antibiotic before they even did anything. Lord God, I smell like a moxicillin, Lord God, Lord God, but I pray God that it did what it was supposed to do, yes, God. Lord, and all Jesus. swelling, God, all infections, yes, God, God, everything, yes, God, is healed in the name of Jesus, God. Oh God, it is healed, God. Yes, Not just in me, God, but every person, every yes. person, God. Oh yes, y'all got to see this. Not only watching. But those, God, that they are interceding for. Yes, I pray yeah. for the children, God, as they yes. go back to school. Put a covering over them, Lord yes. God. Keep the teachers and all staff members safe. Yes. Oh, I pray Jesus. for their parents, God, as the children come home, God, that yes. they don't bring anything home, God. Yes. Oh, I pray, Jesus. Lord God, oh, I gotta see, honey, I gotta see that you remove spiritual blindness. Yes, and Lord God. God, spiritual wax that is in what individuals ears god yes, i pray for the world i pray for the country lord yes. god i saw god and i heard mm -hmm. today when i was watching the news you gave lord god me that prophetic warning regarding the dragon over the united states and different mm -hmm. states and you said god that help was written across the state of Tennessee. And Lord. yesterday when I was making the post, God, you told me about the prophecy manifesting. You said, mm -hmm. it's not over, God, mm -hmm. there's more to come. And so today when I was listening to the man, God, he said that they are in need of help. Yeah. The whole it's state, help. Mm, that's it's gotta, da, 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 yeah. And that they're gonna be in need of help for yes. a long time god this is the same prophecy that where all the saints was on fire flooding mm -hmm. lord i see the things happening and so lord i'm gonna pray for grace and mercy god for grace and mercy god lord god told you i gotta see god for grace and mercy god in favor god yes, i gotta say i don't want to pray against your will lord god so lord i'm gonna pray god that your will that you. your will be done and i pray whatever it is that you desire us to learn god that each and every person each and every soul learns it god and they adhere to not bow their will but thy will god 
Lord God, I thank you, God. Lord God, I pray, God, that you touch, Lord God, Apostle Davison, and that you, Lord God, or you got to see, and also, Lord God, gosh, you got to see, Pastor Sakawa, Lord God, Prophet, so you got to see, and you got to see, and my nana see, it's you got to see, oh, you got to see, touch them all, God, in the name of Jesus, God, and whatever, God, whatever, oh, you got to see, that they're standing in need of, Lord God, that your will, your that will. your will be done in yes. the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior's name. Amen. 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 And at this time, I'm yielding the line to Pastor Davison for any nuggets and that what people can do that have given their life to Christ on today. Or Amen. Even if she wants to make another altar call. Lord, yes, Amen. Amen. I just have a word that God gave me before we came on the broadcast. Woe unto them who do not hear my prophets, who do not take heed to my warning. Woe be unto them. That's what I heard the Lord say while I was getting ready today. Amen. And the, the word was on point today, woman of God. Amen. Let, 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 let what you do prepare you for your future. If you're disobedient now, you're going to be disobedient in your future. Jesus. But if you're obedient right now, you're going to be obedient in your future. Amen. Like old folks used to say, a hard head make us soft behind. And God's trying to get our head back soft again so we can receive what he's saying. Amen. Amen. Because we don't, we don't want to be caught in the judgment with our work undone. Amen. Amen. And that's what God is saying today. Don't be caught with your work undone. That's what the old folks used to say. Don't be caught. I mean, with your work undone. Don't be caught uh, uh, lackadaisical. Don't be like that, that unwise servant where, where the master gave out one talent, three talents, and five talents, and the unwise servant buried his talent in the ground. And his talent was given to the one who had more. Mm, God said, don't, don't, let you, don't, don't let yourself be buried in the ground because God gave us the work to do and to get it done. Amen, amen. I also wanted to say people keep Bishop John David lifted up in prayer another one it was two of them somebody a pastor was in an automobile accident on the motorcycle and one mm -hmm. of the pastors i don't know if y'all know it or not but in india people are persecuted for serving christ uh -huh. and that he made comments regarding idols uh -huh. uh, false gods and he has been arrested Yes. God's hand, my servant, my servant, oh yes, I gotta see my servant, oh yes, I gotta see my servant, oh yes, I gotta see my servant, oh yes, I gotta see. And it's just amazing. It's so wonderful to me when we see people in this day and age. And mm -hmm. there's many, there's many that get killed, persecuted, yeah. killed and thrown in prison, whole families for serving Christ. And we have an opportunity to do so freely here in the United States. And we don't. Mm, gosh, I got to decide. Mm, serve him with your whole heart, but keep them lifted in prayer. All of the ones that were on last week, keep them mm -hmm. lifted in prayer. Yes, amen. Amen. Father God, I ask you to return all virtue that the apostle prophetess gave out today as she gave off what you gave her to give us in the name of Jesus. God, refill it from the crown of her head to the very soles of her feet in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, bless her with everything that she stands in need of. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. For all those who gave their life to the Lord, find yourself a good Bible believing church. Amen. Don't let it be said that you just just sitting around and, and not doing what God called you to do. Find you a place that they will feed you. Find a place that loves God. Find a place that don't go on doctrine, don't go on man's vain traditions. Find you a place that loves God and gonna teach you how and teach you how to love God in these very last and evil days. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. 
we will be back on tomorrow. Please join us. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. For, keep us lifted in prayer too. Oh, hallelujah. Do you have anything else, woman of God, that you um, have to say at this time? Um, amen, amen. We love you. Oh, can, um, I call it Evangelist Y. Karen Washington. We are doing awesome. Amen. Oh, Prophetess yes. Janetta says, yes, had it. Healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. I got Amen. my healing. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. To God be all the glory. To God be all the glory. And actually, Evangelist Lonnie Strowman is going to be with us in September. She's going to be bringing forth a word. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Now Amen. unto him that is able to keep us from falling, to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceedingly joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. I love y'all. Join us tomorrow. Oh, hallelujah. I love you, woman of God. Love you. God is good. Share yes, it with is. someone. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Bye. Amen.